So we're cutting down trees. Take a guess in the comment section below how many trees we're cutting down today. It's probably way more than you would think. All right, we are out here in the tree line with all the juniper trees um, towards the back of the property today. So we're gonna work on clearing some of these trees out because I wanna get the pigs up here. So there's a bunch of little saplings and then some bigger ones. I think today we're just gonna attack the small, like there's this cluster of 10 saplings here. Chop those down and then um, just to kind of make, I need paths for fence lines. So I'm going to work on those and then we'll see if we get any of the bigger ones. A lot of these in here, I don't know how well it picks up, are, there's not much on them. There's some dead branches and stuff, but since it's so thick in here, there's not much growing. Um, but there is also, there's some good straight ones. Like this one's pretty straight. So I'm going to try to save some of these for fence posts as well. Um, I don't know if I'll use them on perimeter fences, but I might save the straight ones for now for fence posts and then um, whether or not I use them, that'll be decided in the future, but we can save them for now. So, so we're going to get started here, cutting out some of the small ones and then um, we'll see how much that clears out and then see if we need to go the big ones. We're not going to, this is, the whole tree line, I'll throw up the drone footage here now so you can see, this whole tree line is about two acres. So we're not gonna be able to clear it all today. My hope is to just get enough where I can put the pigs in here. And then once the pigs get out of a paddock, I'll come back and I can clear out more of it. Um, and then do a little bit each time. I can't burn any brush until May. So I don't want massive brush piles. Uh, we have They have a burn ban from, I think it's October, end of October to May middle of May, so beginning of May, whatever it is. So I can't um, can't burn anything and I just don't want this sitting here forever. And I don't want to chip this stuff because it won't break down. Um, so we will burn, if we can cut it up small enough, I could burn it in a burn barrel, but I would prefer not to have a massive burn pile. So we'll fire up the saws and get started now. pretty steep angle in there. I'll try to set up the camera where you can see it, but the cameras never do it justice. So certain parts are worse than others. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to use this whole hill for pigs, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, 
Chain came off. Well, you can see how there's no grass up here. It's just moss. These freaking junipers are, they just drown out everything below them. The only thing that grows is more junipers. So it's getting clear in here. You can now see the sky pretty clear. So the more we get rid of some of these smaller ones, the more grass can start growing and the healthier this area will be. So this is gonna be a long, long process. Uh, ain't no way we're gonna get this done in this video, but if we can get a nice section cleaned out and then little by little I can clear it for the pigs. So it wasn't like that before, but this is the angle. Uh, the camera's at the at the slope of the hill, so it's pretty pretty steep. So this is level. This is about the angle of it. So it's not as bad over here. It gets a little bit worse the higher up you get, so I don't know if we'll be able to use it all for pigs, but I guess we'll find out in the future.
outside and on camera it probably looks like we've done nothing but we fought three trailer loads down was it three or two two we fought two trailer loads down to the burn pile and we're making a little bit of progress not a huge area maybe uh, 40 feet by 40 feet but something's better than nothing so we'll keep working on it All right, so we're on trailer load number four. It's really hard to tell how much we've done. 
I'll walk through here. So I'm standing on the upper end of the line where we stopped. We went all the way down there. some over there all through here it is so hard to tell how many trees all right so this is about the same spot i was standing earlier you can see in now you can see all the trees we cut down you can see a decent chunk but in total uh we counted 150 trees that we cut down just in this little area that's probably uh, 60 feet, 75 feet by 30 feet. So not very big and there's still quite a few trees as you can see. So there's gonna be a lot of trees to cut down in here. Well, we called it yesterday, clearing the woods. Uh, we only worked uh, maybe three hours up there, but from the inside, we got a bunch done. It's really hard to tell but I'll throw up these drone shots. It does not look like we did much from the air. You can see a little bit, but it's really hard to tell that area is so thick. So um, we got a big burn pile over there. You can kind of see it over there behind the smoker and the pigs. That thing's probably 30, 40 feet long by 10 feet wide. So I'll get all that stuff burned. Like I said, I don't want to have a huge, huge burn pile. I wanted the ponds already pretty big, so I don't know what I'll do with that stuff up there. I want to keep clearing it little by little. Um, I may get a burn permit. We'll see. But um, that is where we'll leave the clearing because today we have a very special day. So um, we're not going to do any more clearing, but we will enjoy the day. Here. Happy birthday. 